Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to multiply a two-digit number times a two-digit number using the area model. Now before I even begin, I'm going to draw my rectangle. And this is the rectangle that I will use to multiply the numbers. Now the area model uses place value, but what it does is it makes it very visual. It turns it into a picture, which makes it really easy to see that we are making sure we multiply every place value in both numbers. So. I'm going to begin by taking the number 43 and separating it out into the place values. Now 4, the value of the 4 is really 40. It's 4 tens is 40. So I'll put that down first. The value of the 3 is 3. So now I've broken apart 43 into 40 and 3. I need to do the same thing with 24. Now as we know, area is length times width. So if the length is 43, then the width in this problem is 24. So I need to separate 24 into the place values. 2 tens is equal to 20, and 4 ones is, of course, 4. And then I need to break that apart. Now that I have the two numbers broken apart, I see all of these boxes within the big box. I need to find the area of each of those boxes and then I can line them up, add them up over here to find the answer to the problem. So I'm going to begin by finding the area of this box down here. Now the length of this box is the same all the way through here. So the length of this is actually 3. So it's going to be 3 times 4 because the width is also the same which is 4. So 3 times 4 equals 12. I'm going to put the answer inside the box. Then I'll move up to the top box. It's 3 times 20. Now we know that 3 times 2 equals 6. And then we can tack on that 0. So the answer is 60. That's a cool strategy. Then we need to find the area of this box. The length is 40. The width is 4. 4 times 4 equals 16 and we tack on that 0 to make it 160. And the last step is to find the area of this box, which is really multiplying the tens place of each number. So it's 40 times 20. We know that 4 times 2 equals 8, and in this case we have to tack on two zeros because there's one in each of those numbers, so the answer is 800. Now I'm not done yet. I need to make sure I line them up, add them up to find the entire area of the whole rectangle. So I'm going to begin with the biggest number and I'll stack that underneath. It's 800, 160 plus 60 plus 12. And I'm going to add them up. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 equals 2. 0 plus 6 equals 6, plus 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So 1, 10, 3 ones. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 1 is 10. And there's nothing else to add, so I'm going to put that right at the bottom. And I have to make sure I put my comma as 1, 2, 3, comma. So the answer to this problem is 1,032.